Hello, welcome to a new exciting creature tutorial. This tutorial is going to cover the new revamped and revised PSD import pipeline, right? And this new pipeline is going to allow you to do a couple of things. First of all, you're going to be able to create a new creature animation project directly by importing a Photoshop PSD document file with your character in your PSD. And you can also create a blank project and then import in the PSD later on whenever you like. So let me go through the steps right now. So what we do is we load up Creature and we click Create Project. And now there are two options. There is a Create from Image Atlas, which is the default option, the old option where you, you placed out all your body parts of the character in a single image and you import it in, that still works. But there's also a new option called Create from PSD Document. So what this does is it assumes that you have your character authored already in your Photoshop PSD document. And it's all laid out and positioned correctly. Each body part is its own layer and it's positioned in the right place. And as long as you have that and make sure there are no extraneous body parts, that, that is all the file contains are the only body parts in in the character, we can continue. So click on create from PSD document and click OK, right? And then it's just as sim simple as setting the output folder, which is the project folder. And then I'm going to select a sample PSD file, like so. OK, it's a zombie character. And then you have to set the resolution of the texture that you're going to pack the texture atlas, the final texture atlas you're going to use for this character of your project. Now, by default, is 10, uh, 1024. If it's too small, you can always increase it. The system will tell you that automatically. So once you're done, just simply click Create. And we should have your character all laid out as a texture Ellis. Isn't that easy? And not only that, notice that all the different body parts of the character have been actually named or renamed correctly according to the layers, the layers of your PSD file, right? So that's pretty cool. And you can, of course, remash it. And when you remash it, it's also going to keep the names. So it's super simple. Now, so now you have the mesh of the character. What's the next step? The next step is we're going to put the character together in a rig, right? So click on mesh and go to rig. And of course, it's empty because nothing has been added right now. So what do we do? Click on add region. Now a new option is going to pop up. It's called auto place regions from project PSD. As long as you have an active Photoshop document import, that is you just imported in uh, the previous document that we did, this option will pop up and it will be active. So click on that and automatically it will detect all the different layers or regions in your Photoshop file. OK, and it will also automatically infer now the scale. So by default, 0 0.8 should just work. OK, but if you have, again, I will emphasize, if you have extra body parts that don't belong to the character that are placed all over the place, it might get the scale incor uh, incorrect. That's because it's not able to infer the actual size of the character because you have extra body parts. So again, if you want this to work out of the box, right, make sure you, you clean up your 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 Photoshop document and make sure it only contains the relevant body part layers. Okay, so you're done with that. Click OK and presto. There you go. Our character has been laid out on the screen automatically. That didn't take too long, just a single click. And then you can continue with the usual creature animation pipeline by putting in, you know, the bones and all that. So I'm not going to go through the rest of the pipeline because that's for another day. And I assume you guys are already familiar with the creature animation pipeline, but this tutorial, the purpose of this tutorial was to demonstrate to you the new Photoshop or PSD import pipeline. Okay, so that's the first method, first way of actually importing a Photoshop document. I'm going to cover the second method in the next stick section and we'll see how it goes. Okay, welcome to method two or section two of the PSD import pipeline tutorial. So in part two, we're actually going to create a blank project and then import the Photoshop file later on. And the way we do it is we select the default create from image atlas option. This is the older option. Click OK and then just check use blank image. I will add my own later. So this tells creature that you're going to add your image later. It's going to create a blank project. And then, of course, pick your project folder. OK. And I have my project folder. I don't click import image because there's nothing import. And I check the blank image option. I click create. 
and now I have an empty project. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to import the PSD document into our project. So move your mouse over to import, click on that. There's two options. Pick the second option. It says import multiple PNGs or PSD file. Pick that one. And this window pops up. This allows you to import multiple PNGs. If you actually have exported your character into separate layer, separate layer PNGs, you can do that. But more conveniently, I think you should prefer the second option as long as you packed it in a Photoshop file because it will actually, just like the previous example, remember the positions and place them out automatically for you, saving you a ton of time. So pick the second option. And then we're going to go in again and pick the same PSD file. And this time around, it's going to prompt you for a texture atlas resolution. Again, make sure it's large enough. If it's too small, don't worry. The system will just complain and you just pick a larger resolution. Okay. And so there you have it. So once you're done with it, click finish and, re and remesh. And you can accept the default grid resolution if you want. And there you go. There's our PSD file, right? There's our character with, with from the PSD file with every single region all named correctly according to your Photoshop document. And then same thing again, go back to rig move your mouse to add region, click auto place regions from project PSD, all right, and click OK, and you are done, right? Okay, so I hope this, this was a very useful tutorial. This actually concludes the brand new revised and revamped Photoshop PSD document native import pipeline for Creature. As you can see, it's extremely easy to import in a Photoshop document that contains your character, either through the project wizard, through the first you know, creation process where you can create a brand new project and directly import a PSD or you can just move your mouse over and import it anytime you want by click by clicking on the second option. So I hope this is going to streamline your workflow and save you a lot of time when you are actually authoring your characters and animating them in Creature. Thanks for watching.